Let's have a look at the cold seal boot knife. Now, I packed this knife up quite recently, uh, less than a few weeks ago, for uh, £75. I got it when I was up at uh, I was up in the Highlands, up at Fort William, um, which is the last place I expected to find cold steel knives. But nonetheless, I walked into this uh, small shop and they had a bunch of cold steel knives, and of course I had to get one. Now, seventy five quid is probably a bit much for this knife, but it was in the Highlands and everything is more expensive in the Highlands. But Although I probably could have bought this cheaper online, there's just something about walking into a shop and buying a knife, if you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, it's so much cheaper and more convenient to buy from the internet, but there's just that feeling you get when you're going to buy a knife or, you know, it doesn't have to be a knife actually, just buying anything from a shop opposed to a website. It's just got a good feeling to it, I think. And especially in the UK where knife availability is getting a bit difficult, because they're um, tightening the laws on knives. You need to have all sorts of stupid licenses to, you know, to buy an, oh, sorry, to sell a knife. And even when I bought this knife, they, um, they asked me why I wanted it. And they, uh, well, they didn't take my address, they took my, my dad's name and address because uh, he, he used his ID, obviously I am over 18, but but um, they asked me why I wanted it. So I think these rules and regulations are getting a bit out of hand. But anyway, all that aside, let's have a look at the knife. So I think what we'll actually do is uh, start off by looking at the sheath. Um, honestly, I don't know what the sheath's made of. Kydex, some sort of plastic, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not really big on sheaths. When it comes to sheaths, I prefer leather. Although I do quite like this material, it's just, it's got something cool about it, I think. Now, as I said, this is supposed to be a boot knife. So, it is supposed to go on the outside of your boot. So, I'll draw the knife and set it aside for the moment. And I assume this is for tying it to a bag or something. But how I think this works, I'm actually not sure, is you unclip this. And my assumption is you put this on the side of your boot. So you'd put that to the side of your boot and just clamp it down. Now I have tried that on a pair of leather boots and it seems to work. And believe it or not, it didn't actually get in the way. It was comfortable enough to walk around in. Now, I only did that for five minutes in the house because we're in the UK. I'm in the UK and... It's going to be a fun job explaining why I've got that on me to the police. They're uh, not going to be too friendly. And I don't really want to wear it for an hour or so in the house in case I forget that it's on me. You know, try to explain to the police that you forgot that you had it. Not going to happen. Anyway, this knife actually does tick a few boxes uh, for me and my collection. Number one is a cold steel. I've actually never had a cold steel before. I have been meaning to get some, but I didn't see that many that I wanted, and I did hear some bad things about cold steel. But I've decided it's finally time to try the, uh, try one. And honestly, so far I am very, very impressed with this. Now this is something that I'm not actually going to use as a working knife, it's just going to be part of my knife collection, so... I probably won't ever cut anything with it. Now this probably isn't designed as a tool whatsoever. This is more of a fighting knife, a self-defense knife, and you can't have a knife for self-defense in the UK, so this is collection only for me. I mean, I might use it to open the odd package or cut a, a zip tie or whatever, which it does pretty well at. I think I've already cut a few zip ties with it. But uh, this, this knife is just going to sit here on the table, just looking pretty. Uh, the other thing is that the way they've made this knife is very strange. I don't know if you've noticed, but this knife is one solid, and I've just cut myself, one solid piece of metal, one solid piece of steel. Like there's no, no separate materials, no wood, no leather, no plastic, nothing. This is just one solid fixed piece of metal, which means it's got quite a bit of weight to it. 
and believe it or not, it's actually fairly comfortable. I mean, when I, when I first looked at it, I didn't think it'd look that comfortable. I just thought I looked pretty cool. Now, a few other things I like about this knife, a few uh, boxes that this tech says it's actually a sort of well, a dagger. It's got that dagger look and it's very, I'm probably going to use the wrong word here, but is it symmetrical? You know, the both sides are the same, which I quite like. It looks pretty nice. Uh, you know, I, I kind of do like daggers. I've never actually had one, so this is the first dagger I've got in my collection. Not only that, it is actually double-edged. So it has an edge on the top and on the bottom. Now, I have had knives, or at least one knife anyway, that's had a false edge here, so it looks like it's kind of sharpened, but it's actually not. This, if it looks sharp, it's sharp. So it's sharp from here, all the way around the blade, back to here. So that's one long blade. Well, it's sharp all the way around. I mean, the, the, the blade length is about five inches. And it is very, very pointy. This is probably the pointiest knife I own now. So I'm really happy with this knife. And if I remember correctly, the last thing is this knife is bloody sharp. Like, most of my knives are very sharp, whether they came sharp or I sharpened them myself. This thing is a whole new level of sharp for me. I've never had any knife come this sharp and I'm not sure if I could get it uh, if my skills go this high in terms of sharpening. I mean I could put a pretty good shaving sharp edge on a knife but this, this came shaving sharp and it's, it's very impressive. This knife impressed me a lot. So overall I'm pretty happy with this knife. Now. One thing I would like to say in regards to carrying it, if I could legally carry this knife without being arrested or getting in any sort of trouble, I would most certainly carry this in a boot. I like to wear boots from time to time, but I'd probably be wearing boots every single day if I could legally carry this thing. I would, you know, have this in my boot all the time if I could get away with it. I'm, you know, I'm really surprised that it doesn't get in the way, you can't really know, I mean, if you're wearing a pair of straight cut jeans, a small amount of the, the sheath pokes out, maybe about, you know, from a thumb downwards, but most people are probably not going to notice that unless they're looking, and so long as your boots are the same sort of colour, you're not going to draw attention. Now, obviously, if you're wearing, like, tan colour boots or something, then yeah, it's going to, it's going to stick out, but... A pair of black leather boots, not going to notice that, I wouldn't have thought. So, that's all I've got to say. A great knife, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video on it. I enjoyed making it, so thanks for watching and see you soon.